Okay, so hey guys, this is going to be a review on some brushes that I was sent from Sedona Lace. I've had these brushes for quite some time now, so I'm going to tell you why I think they're amazing. Besides the fact that they're very affordable. So, the set that I was sent is the Vortex set. Um, it comes with 12 brushes, I believe. And it comes with a little pamphlet like this. And this tells you everything you need to know about these brushes which is really amazing um you don't have to use the brushes for what they're described as you can use them for anything that you want to use them for so they're in a little thing like this and i have the vortex brush set with the zipper pouch so the pouch looks like this and it has a little snap so um, you can snap it around your waist and just zip open and it comes like this with lots of slots and you can add your regular brushes to this slot because um, there's only 12 brushes in the set and these come with lots of slots so you can add you know whichever brushes that you're using for that day in the set so that's what it looks like really neat so the first brush is the fan brush, well the jumbo fan brush because it is jumbo in size and it just looks like this. This is the FB01. Um, this brush can be used for a lot of things. It can be used to, you know, apply your blush, your bronzer. You can use it to catch the fallout from when you're applying your eyeshadow. It just can be used for many, 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 many things and it's very soft. This is my first time using a fan brush and I actually really like it. It's pretty big and thicker than most of the fan brushes that I've seen. So this is the fan brush, the jumbo fan brush. And I just keep it with its little covering so it'll keep its shape. So just like that. The next brush is going to be the Tulip Contour Brush. And this brush can be used for many things as well. The um, pamphlet says it's good for contouring and applying cream foundations and things like that. I think this brush is good for all those things. But it's also good for like getting in like really tight spaces with like powder and stuff like around your nose, under your eyes, and you know things like that. And because it's tulip shaped, it's also good for contouring. But I already have a contouring brush so I'm going to use this for like powder underneath my eyes. So really like this brush the next brush is the dome contour brush and this is the fb05 brush this is the brush that i use to apply my blush and it just gets right on the cheeks and it's so small that it's just perfect for right in that area you can also use this brush to contour with or to apply your highlight with because it is so small so yes really like this brush for applying my blush that's what I use this one for. The next brush is the Flat Top Kabuki brush. And this brush is really dirty right now. It needs to be washed. But this is the FB07 brush, which is and the have flat a similar top brush from Sigma. And this is the Flat Kabuki as well. As well. Um, so they're pretty similar. To me, they do they both do the exact same thing. Um, so yeah, they're both pretty dirty. Um, but yeah. This brush is really good for buffing in foundation. And I used this one on my mom and she really likes this brush. It buffed her foundation and really, really, really good. So this one can be used for buffing in powder, cream, liquid, whichever you want to buff in. This one is great because it just, the flat top is really dense. So it just glides around your skin, which is really, really nice. And it's really soft. So that is a plus. Where's my blending brush? Oh. The next brush is the Universal Blender brush. And this brush blends out eyeshadow really, really, really well. I used this when I did my black smoky eye and it blended the color out really well. So this is the EB09 brush, the Universal Blending Blush. The Universal Universal Blending Brush. So yeah, I really like this brush. It's really really nice to blend you know out the color so that's that one 
So the next brush is the Flat Synthetic Brush and this is the EV11 brush and I really like this brush for applying concealer under the eyes or applying, you know, your base on your eyelids. So this one is really good for that. It's really good for, you know, getting right in small places. If you wanted to, you could also use this to apply your eyeshadow. It packs on eyeshadow really, really well. So you can use this as that as well. Just wet it a little bit and then pack your eyeshadow right on. So I really like this brush. So the next brush is the EB13 and this is the synthetic blending brush. And I really like this brush because it's it's really big and fluffy. Um, I use this to blend out colors in my crease. And you can also use this just to blend out all the colors all together. And this one is really nice. Um, I've used a lot of blending brushes and I haven't found one that I was like, Bleh, this is horrible. But this one is really good. And for the price that this whole set is really nice to have. So that's this one. The next brush is the Pointed Crease Brush. I have to say this one might be one of my favorites because it's the tulip shape just like the the tulip brush. It's, it's like, it's, it's baby. It's the baby. So this one fits right on your crease. So if you were like doing a cut crease, this would be the perfect brush because it's, it, it's point sits right in that line so it is perfect for doing a cut crease the next one has to be my favorite this is a brush I used in my eyebrow video it is the EB17 this is just a brow spoolie dual brush it comes with a wand and it comes with the angled liner brush which is very dense so it's pretty basic you don't really need to explain this one it's just a wand and angle brush for your eyebrows and then there's the Bent Eyeliner Brush, and this is the EB19. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm really not sure if it's really good or not, but I will try it out and let you guys know how I like the eyeliner brush. But um, because it's bent, it's supposed to be easier to get that straight line because you don't have to, like, you know, maneuver, maneuver. You can just go like this and swoop it right across so it feels like it's going to be super easy so I would definitely definitely try this very soon and let you guys know how I like it so the next brush is the EB21 so this is a detailed shader brush and it's really flat and it's really small so it's perfect for getting in your tear duct smudging out your lash line or just packing on color that you just want specifically for your lid it's very small so you can just get it right on the lid without a problem i really like this brush because it's so small and it's so easy to just get the colors on your lid because i do have really small eyes really small eyelids so i really like this one for my whole lid color so that's this one a really nice brush and the last brush is the EB23 and this is the angled detail brush you can also use this for eyeliner you can use this to smudge out eyeliner or to create a cut crease it's really good for that because it is very thin it's very thin so you won't have like a fat brush trying to create a cut crease it gets right in there as well and so the last like brush, brush in the set is a lip brush and it comes like this and it's actually pretty small but you just attach the lid to it to make it a full size brush um it's pretty small so it's good to get in lipstick tubes if you're like down to the bottom so i really like this brush and i'm glad that it has a lid to it because if you don't clean your brushes after you do your lipstick then you know the lipstick will still be on it and it'll get everywhere so you can just put the lid back on and you won't have to worry so, about it so um yeah this is the manual like i was telling you guys and the manual goes way more in depth about all the brushes that there is also about the brush belt which is very convenient um so yeah and also this brush set was made by what is it makeup by Remren on youtube she created this brush set so i was really excited to try up some brushes that another youtuber made really cool really nice brush set and it's pretty affordable you get 12 brushes like i said and i think this whole set is it's 89.95 with the brush 
with the brush belt but if you get it without the brush belt it's like 79 dollars so i mean you can get it with or without the brush set but the brush set does make it easier to hold all the brushes together so yeah um i will leave also donna's lace information in the info section if you guys have any questions just leave a comment thanks so much for watching